Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we have a bit of a special video and this is actually something that has been requested of me a lot and I don't know why it's never occurred to me to film a video like this but today we are talking about skin prep and prepping your skin for makeup. I wouldn't dream of doing my own makeup or somebody else's makeup without correctly prepping the skin first. Skincare can be quite intimidating for some people and with so much on the market as well it's kind of confusing what to use, when to use. So we are going to go through that today and today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skin Rocks by Caroline Hirons, the queen of everything skincare. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Teen Box by Skin Rocks to prep our skin. Now if you aren't familiar with Skin Rocks, Skin Rocks isn't a subscription box service. It is a monthly box that is more focused around a particular skin concern or a particular ingredient and within the box is a full skincare routine. Within the box also there is a how-to written by Caroline Hirons herself and this is very simple and very to the point and tells you exactly when and how to use these products including the exact amounts that you need to use also. Just before we jump into using some of these products today make sure you are following Skin Rocks on Instagram it's at Skin Rocks and also go to their website SkinRocks.com to sign up for more information. So within this box already there are some products in here that I personally really really love myself and products I use already, products I have used in the past that I really like. Okay so let's take a quick look at everything inside this box just before we get into more detail. So we have the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser, we have the Sam Farmer Moisturizer, or our SPF we have the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer SPF 30, and then we have two treatment steps. We have the Plein Air Violet Paste and we also to have these zip sticker goo getter patches. And this whole box as well has been put together with a hydrating non-abrasive routine in mind. Products in here as well that also targets spots and breakouts which I think is handy for everyone <laughs> but this is also made for everyone of all skin types and all skin tones. So let's get straight into it. We're going to make sure that first of all our hands are nice and clean before we start any kind of routine where we're touching our face. Now prepping the skin before makeup is a little bit different to your morning and evening skincare routine. The mornings for some of us it might be a little bit more simple. In the evening I know for me personally I like to do all my treatments and that's when all the hard work goes in. But when it comes to prepping our skin for makeup what we want to do is think about how much product we're using and how it's sitting on our skin at that moment in time because what we're thinking about is the longevity of wear of our foundation and makeup in general. So in the morning we're going to start off with a blank canvas, getting our skin nice and prepped and ready. We're going to cleanse. So in this box you have the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser. This is one of my favourite cleansers that I use. I use this a while back now and one thing I really liked about this particular cleanser is one, well it's a cleanser, but the way it changes from a balm texture into an oil, when you rub it in your hands for about 10-20 seconds, it really changes into this beautiful like cleansing oil and that basically pretty much dissolves impurities, makeup especially, so this is great for cleansing afterwards as well and using as a double cleanse after your foundation. You need about grape size of this cleanser, I would say a good healthy grape. <laughs> so in the morning we can apply this directly to our face and really kind of massage it and then you start to notice that difference in texture. So now you have two choices to remove this. Percy, as an oily person, I like to use water to completely remove because I don't like the feeling of anything being in my face, basically. I want to start from scratch always, but I also want my face to be clean. If you are a little bit drier, maybe your skin's a little bit more dehydrated, um, then you can just wipe this away with a flannel. You don't have to emulsify it. It doesn't, you don't have to use water at all. But I personally do like to completely wash it away afterwards. Okay, let's get into moisturizer. This is the Sam Farmer moisturizer. We are going to use a pea size amount of this product. Here's what we shouldn't do, okay, when we're prepping our skin for makeup, is this terrible habit we see online of people dripping product onto their face. Because People will drip a bit here, they'll do a bit here, they'll do a bit here. However, in most cases, the amount, the pea size amount that you need that you put here is going to cover the whole face. We can add more if we need to, and I'll touch on that as well. But for now, I'm just going to use a pea size amount. So I'm a little bit oilier, so what I'm going to do first, where I'm oily, for me, is my forehead and my nose. So I'm actually going to start on my cheeks just first, and very gently, 
spread it around my face. I'm still going over my forehead with a good amount. I still say on my nose, we still want to moisturize our whole face. <laughs> but on the areas that are a little bit oilier, we're gonna take it a little bit slower. Now what's great about this moisturizer in particular is there are ingredients in there that have been shown to help reduce excessive sebum production. So when we start to get that really oily, skin that would be our excessive sebum production and that is what is going to break down our foundation a lot of the time is that oil oil breaks down makeup we use oil to remove makeup so what we're trying to do is not be too excessive so a product that's going to help lessen you know the production of that sebum is going to be great for underneath our makeup so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to let this sit on my face for just a moment this is what i do on myself this is what i do on my clients as well and i'm going to let that kind of settle and do what it needs to do what i'm going to look for so i would like do my eyebrows or do your hair you know or put your socks on <laughs> something like that but what i'm going to do is come back and assess my skin. Where am I drier? Where does it feel like my skin needs more? Where does it feel like my skin needs less? Am I feeling tight in some areas still, you know? Allow that moisturizer to work with your skin for a little while. Maybe give it five minutes and then think about where we want to apply more. This way we're slowly adding skincare. This is why I don't like dripping on the face because you don't allow your skin time to kind of um, work out what it needs and what you're gonna, what it's gonna do with that skincare because you're pretty much have like too much on. <laughs> and with that layer sitting on top of your skin, your foundation isn't gonna sit so well on top. Your skin isn't working how you think and then you end up thinking, oh, this product isn't working for me. Where actually you maybe just use too much or not enough. So we're looking for a feeling that isn't tacky it isn't greasy, it isn't sticky. We don't want a feeling of too much on the skin. What we want is a really nice feeling, smooth skin. So what I'm feeling now after a few minutes, my forehead does still feel a tiny bit tight. It's not because of a Botox. And I'm also feeling a little bit tight around here. Now, when I physically feel with my fingers, I do feel like I don't really need that much more on my nose here because I can kind of still feel it a tiny bit. So maybe I did apply too much on the nose. So these areas where I'm feeling a little bit tight, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit more product and just work that very gently into the skin. And same again here. I am still being wary of not using too much. I don't want to go in with too much just because I'm feeling like I, a little bit tight. We want to find like that perfect balance. And this is a good thing to try because after a while you're going to start to understand what areas of your skin need a little bit more and what areas you don't need to go for it too much. Although if you're anything like me, your skin might change <laughs> from one week to the next under foundation. Okay, let's talk about the most important step of every routine ever and that is SPF and this is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor SPF 30. Now to be very clear on how much of this you should use, think about two fingers worth of a product just like this. Don't be scared of SPF underneath your foundation. The days of SPF being really thick and really heavy and leaving a full white cast on your face are long gone. Yes, some are still like <laughs> <laughs> but there are some amazing SPS that you can use that are extremely comfortable under makeup and don't interfere with your makeup in any way. If you are going to use primer, use a primer before your SPF. SPF should always be the last thing that goes on before your foundation. Now, some of you may be thinking, my foundation has SPF in. It may do, but it's not worth it. Ignore any foundation that says it has SPF on as your SPF step. There's a lot of kind of evidence out there that shows how much you would actually have to use off your foundation for the SPF to actually be effective. And let me tell you, no no one wants to use that much. It is a lot. I'm not talking like, oh, so much makeup. Like it's a bucket, like it, it's so much. <laughs> and what we want to do is make sure that we're spreading this evenly across the skin. You may be looking at this and thinking that's a lot, but bear in mind, we want to get our neck, we want to get our ears, we want to get our chest, as well. I personally like to spread it out almost like this and then tap that into the skin. We want to make sure we're fully covered. Get right in that hairline, by the way. Have you ever burned up and, oh, it's so painful. Get in those ears, get right behind those ears too. You know what as well, remember to put a little bit of foundation on your ears also because they go bright, bright red compared to some of our faces. Do not shy away from SPF if you have oily skin. Please, please, please. Everything you do, your um, all your skincare, whether it's your morning routine, your, your evening routine, if you're not wearing SPF, you're just wasting your whole time. <laughs> well, I'm also making sure my SPF are getting right into these creases right here, right in my nose here. 
get right around those eyebrows as well. One thing I also want everyone to bear in mind that, say this is an SPF 30, and you know, I'm sure a lot of people know this by now, but this is SPF 30. If you have um, a foundation that has, let's say, SPF 15, it doesn't then mean you have an SPF of, um, oh God, maths, 45, you know? It doesn't add on to itself. SPF doesn't add on to itself. You're always just going to have a higher coverage off the SPF you use. So in this case, it'll be you are wearing SPF 30. We're not um, building up <laughs> your, our, our SPF. But like I said, again, ignore your foundation's SPF. It's Is it great that it's in there? Sure. Why not? But I wouldn't consider that my SPF for the day. One thing I want to say also about SPF is you may look at your face straight after and think, oh my God, I look so shiny and greasy. Give it, just give it a moment before you put on your foundation and you'll see that your skin just looks perfectly normal, feels absolutely fine afterwards. So now we can't do all this prep and not actually wear any foundation. So I'm going to go on with a little bit of my foundation. One thing I absolutely love about getting your skincare right before your foundation, understanding how your skin is reacting with skincare and everything you use underneath, you're gonna notice such a huge difference in your application in general, whether it's actually when it comes to applying it with a brush, the way it sits on the skin, you should always absolutely put your skincare first. And remember that your skin is a canvas. It is the literal canvas for all your makeup. There's no point in buying foundations or makeup products that claim they do something or claim they're gonna look a certain way because it won't really, unless you're looking after the skin underneath. Now, do I personally always do my morning and evening skincare routine like I should? No. <laughs> but I will always do my skin before makeup, always. And there we have it. That's my skin perfectly prepped for foundation and makeup, whatever else I want to put on now. When it comes to removing this, I will go in with a cleanser again. I will do my first cleanse, um, which is basically removing everything I can visually see on my skin completely off. I personally like to, again, emulsify it, wet it, and completely rinse it off after I've had a good massage around the face. Then I'll go in again with a second step just to double cleanse and ensure that all that makeup is completely dissolved and gone, removed from my skin. I hope you enjoyed Enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, do leave them below for me. I'll try and get to as many as I can. Thank you again to Skin Rocks for sponsoring this video. As I said, follow them on Instagram at Skin Rocks. I will leave a website below so you can sign up for more information about this box and, and also take a deeper look at all the products inside of this box. Thanks again for joining me. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.